talking about questions, curiosity, and answers. You know, what would happen if we did or didn't have them? It's going to be slightly more chaotic, so try and keep up. You know, I think we've all asked questions. It's part of our daily lives. It's a part of our routine. About, how about a maths question? What do I do? Or anything that just revolves around us. You know, as humans, we think we're powerful, we're special. I mean, everything around us is built for us. Not for anything else, but for us. And, you know, questions have helped us grow so much as humans. 2,000 years ago, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here, you know? And it's because of things we wanted. We wanted to do more. We wanted to know more. And that's helped us be where we are here today. You know, a simple question like, what are we? Who, what is our purpose? Can go such a long way. It's like putting a key into a door, and on the other side, it's an answer. Now, I don't know if I want those answers, though, because, for example, let's say after death, right, we unlock those answers. We know that everything around us, let's say, would be a simulation. How would I react? How would we react? I mean, we would go into a state of panic. It's like telling someone, 48 hours to live, good luck. I mean, I'd be scared, you know, don't want it to end in 48 hours. To be perfectly honest, my brain would try to find a way around it. Maybe, you know, find a way I can survive or something to do with it. It's natural. It's our instinct. It's our survival instinct. And so, and so you know, I wouldn't like to be panicked over a simple thing that I've discovered, and it'll bother my head all the time. I don't want that. I don't want to be under constant pressure that, this is what I am. I have to face the truth. And maybe I don't want that. And maybe other people don't want that. And so, why do I need questions and answers? Why do I need to ask questions? Am I trying to compensate for something? Is what I have not good enough? And let's say I do ask these questions, but what if they're the wrong ones? What if I've got everything wrong? What if we've got everything wrong? You know, animals, they live a simplistic life. Eat, drink, sleep, mate. And we do more than that. We build, look, we've built buildings, technology. We can go to space. We couldn't do that a, t a long time ago, but now we can, and that's what's important. And so, we can do that now. And, and now we can do that, and it's, it's mind-blowing. But I don't necessarily, like, if we didn't have those questions and answers, we'd probably be cavemen, we'd be back in the past. But is that necessarily a bad thing? We were doing pretty well. I mean, we've evolved and now we've got in here. But I wouldn't say it's a bad thing not having them. You know, I'd like to have them, maybe. And also, it gives you a sense of being a god. It gives you power. You know, having knowledge over when people don't have this. And I would have it. But do I want this power? You know, do I need to feel powerful? Isn't what I have enough? I'm enough. I, I can live my day without these. But at the same time, they just keep bothering me. And they bother me and bother me, and I don't know what to do about it. Because to face the facts, I probably won't know if everything around us is a simulation. Probably never will. And maybe none of us will. Maybe the government knows these questions, but they're holding it like they don't tell us these for a reason. Maybe our brain know the, knows the answers, but they, it doesn't tell us. Maybe it's a good thing. I mean, and if we had these answers, maybe we'd be like 3,000 years in the future, flying cars, being able to live on a new planet. Who knows, but like, isn't what I have good enough? I have food, water, shelter. What, why do I need more? Why do I feel the need to want to know more? I don't know. Simply, simple as it is. So maybe as if I had a, an answer, let's say, something that wouldn't completely destroy me as, I don't know, what is space? You know, if you think about it, is it a box? Does it end? Is it blackness? Who knows? Scientists don't know. How am I supposed to know? But if I knew that, that'd be pretty cool. I don't need to know if I'm in a simulation. I don't need to know that. And wouldn't really like to know it, but there's other things I'd like to know. And having these answers has helped us be where we are here today. It's important. And so we need to be able to appreciate that our mind wants more. It, we need to feed it, not just physical food, but also questions and knowing more. 
So a new world, maybe, could be created with all the questions we've had, you know, if we answer everything. Maybe we wouldn't be torn apart, like I said, about giving a, certain, a person a certain amount of time to live. What if it's actually so beneficial for us? We want this and it would help us, but we can't know this because that itself is another question. Questions are also something we've created. If we're doing this all wrong, how do we fix it? That's another question. Do we need to fix it? And so I probably never will know the answer to these questions. Maybe that's a bad thing, maybe it's not. But all I know is curiosity is a good thing. Maybe it's what makes us humans. Maybe it's what makes us us. And that's important. Thank you.